next Sunday. So we will begin the service today on page 355 of the Book of Common Prayer, as we usually do. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, man. 
He told us how he had seen the angel standing in his home and saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them just as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remember the word of the Lord, how he said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift that he gave us when we believed in Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could hinder God? When they heard this, they were silent, and they prayed God, saying, Then God was given even to the Gentiles, the repentance that leads to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's read responsibly Psalm 148. Uh, it's uh, found in your leaflet and on page 805 of the prayer book. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all the angels of his. Praise him, all the souls. Praise him. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise, Praise him, heaven and heaven, the heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He made them stand fast forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters, and all depths. reading from Revelations. I saw a new heavens and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. At the Last Supper, when Jesus, Judas, had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you should also love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> Well, it's not difficult to figure out what I'm going to talk about today. Love, the commandment of Jesus. And uh, it's been sort of echoing in my head this week, um, especially as I listen to the radio. Uh, love songs. Got lots of love songs. It seems to span every genre. I mean, country music love songs just have more pickup trucks in them. <laughs> but they have just as much love. Uh, Nick Cave uh, is, was a rock and roller. Does anybody know Nick Cave? A long time ago. Um, but he, uh, he wrote an essay about 20 years ago where he gave a lecture at Oxford about the love song as, um, as a kind of way of approaching God. And, and that resonated with me because, you know, love songs are so over the top most of the time. And, and, and as we were just singing, oh, praise ye the Lord, oh, praise, I mean, it's a love song, really. And we talk about praise. But the best love songs, of course, are, um, are the ones uh, where the context is hard, right? Uh, where, where there's a problem with the love, because love is hard. That makes them good love songs, better ones. They're not saccharine. They tell the truth about love. Love is a difficult thing for us as human beings to enter into. I was, I've been listening to um, a Canadian singer, um, Elise LeGros, if anybody's heard her. I only came across her on, on YouTube. Beautiful sort of jazz voice. Um, and uh, I've been listening to, uh, to, her, to her music, and, uh, there, one, and one, one particular song, she was belting out, I mean, really, uh, with this wonderful refrain, who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? And that's just been going up and down in my because it's more than a question, isn't it? It's a challenge. Who do you love? Well, I mean, they, you know, I used to be a lawyer, so I'm reading this, uh, this passage from Jesus where he commands love. Well, who's he talking to? He's just talking to the disciples. What good news? That narrows the scope. I just have to love you, right? I just have to love other disciples, right? It's a very narrow scope. And believe me, there are a lot of denominations that feel precisely that way. What's the old joke about heaven? You know, don't you know, walk past that door carefully because fill in the blank, the nomination, think they're the only ones here. You know? Now we, we all know that the scope is, is larger than that. Otherwise, Jesus would ask. 
asked us, Lord, to tell us, teach us to love our enemies, the people who we intentionally don't get along with. And here we have this incredible story of, 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 of Peter and Cornelius, where Peter, both Peter and Cornelius get cornered by the Holy Spirit. And, and when I say cornered, I mean really cornered. Because Peter didn't want to do this. I've never, I've been a good Jew all my life. I've never eaten anything that was unclean. And, and God says to him through the Holy Spirit, it's not about uncleanliness anymore. That just because something is strange does not mean that it is profane. We are so quick to excommunicate. Who do you love? Who do you love? We are, it, love is hard. It's not roses and sentiment. It's not walk, walking mistily through the garden much of the time. Because love means that we are caring for another human being. Well being. That's what love is, ultimately. I care for your well being. Not what your partisan politics are. Uh, not what the color of your skin is, uh, not, not where you came from or what you're doing, not the size of your payroll. I love you, no matter who you are. That is amazing, especially as I was driving back from, uh, from Chief Fan's house yesterday at New Echota. Who do you love? Who do you love? And then I read this morning, I read this morning about the shooting in, uh, in upstate New York. Talking about replacement theory for white people. But I've just come back from New Echota, Chief Fan's house, learned what happened 200 years ago. Who do you love? The Cherokees looked as much like white people as they could. They dressed much like white people. They lived in the same kind of houses that white people did. If they were a rich white person, like Chief Fan, they lived in a big old house. They had slaves. They were poor Cherokee. They, had, they lived in a poor house. They lived in a, in a cabin, just like a poor white person. They had a newspaper. They had a written language. They had a government with a bicameral legislature. They had legislative, judicial, and executive branches. But that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough for the greed and the fear and the racism that divided and still divided. Chapters 20 and 21, uh, the, the parts of the book of Revelation that, that make any sense to me at all, is the vision of a new heaven and a new earth, where this world is not destroyed, 
But this world is recreated in the image of heaven, that the new Jerusalem comes down from heaven and, and, and every tear is wiped away. And everyone drinks from the water of life. And that's a vision. That's a vision worth desiring right here and right now. Because that is the glory of God. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. To listen to that refrain as an invitation to the Lord. An invitation. And to do more than listen but be converted by it believe in the one who commands us to love and by that belief be empowered be empowered to actually do something about it I never get involved in partisan politics but election season is upon us you have a choice of asking that question when you walk into the polls not who do you love in terms of a politician, but who do you love? Who do we love? Who is bringing healing and hope to this world? We can do it in small and ordinary ways. The words I use, especially when I'm talking about other people, the life that I live people I am called to love, especially those beyond the pale, then maybe we'll see that somebody will see that I am a Christian, and maybe they might even want to, as the song says, be one too. If you want to be an evangelist, all you have to do is act. That's what that song says. We in the world will be that much closer to the heavenly city on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. stand. We denounce to ourselves and to the world the outline of our faith. We believe in one God, the Father and the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of God.
worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now pray for the church and for the world. Come together in the name and power of our risen Lord. Through him the power of God is shown. Let us ask our prayers to God, saying, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That God's peace may come down upon us and on the whole world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may love one another as Jesus commanded us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world and here at St. Clement's may be united in peace and have power through the Spirit and be faithful to its mission. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That the power of Jesus may be seen in all its glory, bringing freedom, joy, light, and life to all in need, and especially Corey. Sarah, Joan, Kim, Trish, Ted, Dale, Sharon, Fred, John T., Margaret C., Margie, Jerry, Larry, Mary Elizabeth, Walton, Jan B., Shanta, Howard, Randall, Karen, Deborah, John D., Scott, Laura, Marty, Fran, Madison, Zane, Van, Don, Michael A., George, Jean, Dakota, Barbara M., Jacob, and Deacon Judith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for all the people we know who have died. We thank you that you still love them too, and that you are taking care of them, especially Dot Lacey, wife of Grady, and those we think about now and name aloud or silently. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who serve in the armed forces and for their families, for their service and sacrifice, and especially Gavin, Marnice, Jerry, Justin, Ethan, Nick, Joyce, David, Brandon, Maggie, Stephen, Jacob, Jake, Rose, and Derek. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who celebrate birthdays, especially Jacob Kane, Jennifer Morgan, and Julie Brown, and for those who celebrate their wedding anniversaries, especially Jesse and Sarah Laswell, and Chad and Jennifer Moore. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I ask you to pray your own prayers aloud or silently. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
ask you to send your Holy Spirit on Jay. Give her relief and her pain and strengthen her to do your work of love in this world. Hold her and give her grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Grant eternal God, and that we who are made one with Jesus Christ in the power of his death and resurrection may show forth in our lives the love which proclaims us his disciples, that the world may believe in you and be saved through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. always with you.
Thanks to you, O oh God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him, you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took a cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us 
to that heavenly country, where with blessed Mary, blessed Peter, blessed Cornelius, blessed Clement, and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us seek the peace.
render no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, honor everyone, love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. 